What is up guys? Today is Friday and I am sitting in the Syracuse airport. He's next up? to me. And we are getting ready to fly out to Cincinnati. Actually we go to Charlotte first and then we will be in Cincinnati and heading to Mark's event, his fundraising event that I believe has now already raised $40,000 towards the Semper Fi Foundation, which is pretty cool. Very cool to be part of it and excited to go down there and hang out with some cool people, play get in some good training sessions, kind of chill out, meet some, hopefully meet some of you guys. I know a couple of you said you're coming, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so we're just chilling. Wait, I miss on. Bruce. We miss Bruce a lot. Um, I like to travel with no makeup on because I feel like no matter what I do when I travel, I feel disgusting, even though I just showered. So, um, keeping it natural so hopefully I don't feel too gross. I've got some of my, being very organized lately with my integrated, integrated functional nutrition course to keep moving with it since I had put it on hold for so long. Um, I got restarted on that and I'm kind of giving myself a timeline with it. So I've got my third module, my third module readings that I'm going to read on the flight hopefully. I had some caffeine so I shouldn't fall asleep and I'm sorry I'm chewing gum, that's super annoying on YouTube. But that's it, so we will probably see you guys either in Charlotte or Cincinnati. In terms of traveling snacks, the only thing I brought with me are I made two of my psyllium husk pancakes. Those travel very well. The recipe is on my YouTube somewhere. And then there is a, that's a quest, quest bar with me. Got my laptop. Got a little notebook in here so I can take notes while I read. That's pretty much it. Water for hydration. Focused on not losing anything. <laughs> I have not had a good travel record lately. Between losing stuff on my trip to California Arnold went well. Punta Cana went well. That was kind of out of our hands. They fucked it up. Fuck up. So please don't lose the luggage, please. Update: We made it to Charlotte Airport, and we're gonna be flying out in about 45 minutes or so. We're just eating our own food to save money. I'm eating a silly hus husk pancake. Jason's got his Quest Bar, which Jason and his banana. <laughs> also ate his breakfast sandwich on the plane and I got flat white um, from Starbucks which is just ristretto shots if I said that right and I always ask for it with coconut milk it's very tasty my armpit still hurts if I can just throw that out there and I'm, maybe I'm being a baby but it still hurts and I haven't shaved my armpit and now I can't wear tank tops this weekend that really bothers me those are my current feels. <laughs> I got lots of reading done though on the plane, so I'm proud of me, because normally I would just fall asleep, which I didn't. So I read a couple articles that were kind of speaking to some of the research on the Paleolithic diets. That's a mouthful. Paleolithic diets compared to <laughs> our westernized diets and some of the differences that they see in, when they compare the two groups. Um, very interesting stuff, probably dietitian talk worthy. I'm almost thinking of starting a gut series to kind of do videos and maybe I'll like do a research paper and then do kind of my overview with it and share it with you guys if you guys would rather listen to me talk about that stuff versus reading a paper. Let me know if you'd like a gut series because while I'm completing this certification, which is going to take me a while, this isn't like an overnight thing, it'll probably take a year. But I was thinking about doing that for the YouTubes, something different, more health focused. And if you think you don't need to care about your gut health, then you definitely need to watch the series I may do because everyone needs to care about your gut health. It's not just people with celiac disease, it's all of us. Your gut health is impacted by everything and it is the host of so many things that can impact your health. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Funny story, the last clip, how Kara was just saying how she's doing good not forgetting anything and losing anything. Why don't you tell the people what just happened? I didn't say I was doing good. I said I hope everything goes well. But we we're about to board this flight and I realized I didn't have my jean jacket on me anymore, which I really like my jean jacket. So we had a backtrack. I ran back to where we were sitting. My jean jacket was like tucked in between the seats. 
so I got it in time. But I almost lost it. Luckily, I thought of that before we entered the plane. Yes. Yeah, I have memory issues. <laughs> It's not good. In Kentucky, and we rented this little white marshmallow. So Jason and I arrived, and it's like 2.30ish right now. No, it's 3. I wanted to first eat, so we were looking up restaurants. I was craving a salad, and lo and behold, there's a Core Life eatery. I think we're technically in Kentucky right now. So that is where we are. For those of you that don't know Core Life, they originated in Syracuse not even that long ago, like two years ago. And they just have basic, whole, delicious food. Guaranteed delicious salads. I think all their meats like organic, antibiotic free, and all that jazz. But it's just a great meal. So that's what we're having right now. We both did like a make your own greens bowl. I did kale and baby spinach. I got cucumber, two servings of bell pepper. Tomatoes are in there somewhere. And then I got their chicken on it and some avocado. Just got to the Tiger Fitness. Hey, Steve, how are you? Good. Just want to show off the vehicles. Oh my goodness. I want to drive off. Ooh. This is nice. because we've been selected to be part of the Pure Romance group. We're about to go on tour with Pure Romance to show you how to do life different. Huge sexy montage. Tiger Fitness Headquarters. With the man himself? The man himself. What do you have? I don't know where anything is. Here, actually, the rest of it's up there, but. Okay, that'll work. Here we have it. RD Nutrition Fit Burn. You guys know where to get it. You tell them where to get it, Mark. TigerFitness.com, right here. Right here, it's right there. Just take it. We have our t-shirts for tomorrow's event. Real Weights for Real Heroes. Me and Jason both have one. We are back at the hotel room now. Everyone was going out to eat pancakes at IHOP and Jason and I both are just, like our stomachs with traveling and stuff are a little bit sensitive. So we just wanted to go to the grocery store and pick up some food and eat in the hotel room. Um, so I'll show you guys what I got because I haven't ate anything else yet. And this is gonna be a whole day of eating, whole day of eating traveling edition. Didn't know it was gonna happen, but it did, so there you go, because I know you guys enjoy these. So let me show you what we got at Whole Foods. So I've been trying to pound back the water today with traveling, definitely like, I noticed the bloat right away. An easy way for me to know that I'm retaining water with traveling is my wedding rings, which are usually fairly loose. Not loose, but like I can slide them over my knuckle easily, and when I travel, like when we get off the plane today, I like can't get my wedding ring off right now, so. Fortunately, I brought some branch chains that we've been drinking, and one of the things I love from Whole Foods, they have their big ass alkaline waters. 
So I got two things of those. Those are 50 ounces, so almost a half gallon. Jason just got some watermelon chunks, some bananas, and an apple. And he's got some food in the room he's going to eat for like a protein shake and whatever else. He's not feeling the meats right now. I grabbed some pomegranate seeds and some kiwi. Ate so much kiwi in Punta Cana, and I forget how much I love kiwi. And then I went to the Heavenly Whole Food Salad Bar, which they were about to close in like a half hour, so I didn't know what kind of selection they'd have or if they'd even still be open, but they were. And I only spent $10 on this salad, which it's got some weight to it, so I think I did pretty good. I have, they had rotisserie pulled chicken, so I just tried to pick the white meat, and I got about four ounces of that. I stuck mostly with Whole Foods, but I did do one of their broccoli salads and a corn salad, a little bit of that. Got some carrots there, and I've got, let me show you underneath, I've got some pumpkin seeds on top, I have green onions, I have tons of shredded zucchini, I have, um, what else, and everything's organic, there's shredded carrots in there, like rainbow carrots, edamame, celery, tomatoes, cauliflower. I got everything, so this is a big ass salad. And I think one of the things like a lot of people struggle with, with salad bars, salad bars, they either like stay away from them or like they just don't know how to count them and actually, lighting's bad there. Actually I find it fairly easy, like at Whole Foods for instance, look at your scoop size and they actually give nutritionals based on a four ounce serving and the scoop that they give you is pretty much a four ounce scoop. So for each item that I put in there, I just kind of eyeballed whether I was putting in a full four ounce scoop, was I doing half a scoop, and you just estimate it as best you can. Like I would never want to avoid like this delicious micronutrient dense filled salad just because I don't know to the science, to the T, the exact calories on it because honestly, even things like fruit sometimes, it's not that perfect. You're never going to know the exact decimal, decimal like number of how much you absorb and how many calories you use. So like best advice is just not to stress it, estimate it, make good choices and um, that's all I got to do. So, and I use some balsamic vinegar on top for my dressing. So that's it. I'm going to eat this big ass salad with some fruit and relax, get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we hit up the event. So that is going to conclude the vlog this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.